Good morning, everyone. So this morning I am with Richard Owen, who is a personal trainer. And uh, Rich and I met uh, a few weeks ago uh, because I was looking for a personal trainer myself. And the reason I brought him on today really is because I kind of wanted to ask him a few questions. But Rich is one of those people that really puts passion into what he does. And, uh, and I thought it'd be fantastic for him to share with us today. Um, so the, the thing that really struck me was his attention to detail. And I think that always shows someone who is passionate about what they do. Um, he's clearly there to help people. And uh, so, yeah, I wanted to get him on and ask him a few questions. Good morning, Rich. How are you today? Morning, Paul. Morning, guys. I'm really well, thanks very much. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. No, I'm really interested to, to hear what you've got to say. So, so tell us a little bit about your background, first of all, and, and how you got into doing personal training. Okay, so I've, I've only recently um, actually got back into personal training um, at the turn of the year. So my background in health and fitness began probably in 1999 as a young lad. Um, so I, I found employment at Brixton Recreation Centre in South London, which is a, a large leisure centre sporting complex. Um, there I had, I had employment with nothing to do with health and fitness. It was actually working in the cafe and the bar. All right. Um, but the cafeteria just happened to be sort of directly opposite the, the big muscle gym. So I was sort of stood in the calf on a on a day to day basis, watching these big strong guys, big strong girls, walking in and out of the gym, and, and sort of aspired to to want to be like those people. So wow. um, I managed to get myself qualified, educated back in '99, and found myself working in that that very same gym. Wow. Um, <laughs> It didn't last too long. I moved back to Kent and found employment as a fitness consultant working at a, a private health club in Maystone. It was uh, the old rectory health right. and fitness club, and, and that was fantastic. Um, but I left to seek um, a career with Kent Police. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I moved away from the, the health and fitness team for a good 15, 16 years. Um, and like I say, only recently come back to it now and uh, realise now I'm doing it again how much I really have actually missed it because, um, yeah, absolutely loving it. So, yeah, well, like I said, it's yeah. your passion, isn't it? And that really comes yeah. across. It really does. Mm, brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, so what do you feel are the main benefits of, of someone um, having a personal trainer? I mean, I know already, I mean, we've only worked for a couple of weeks together, but you know, I'm already so enthusiastic about it. And you know, I think I've kind of found my motivation again. But um, so what do, what do you feel are the benefits? Well, that's good to hear that, that you're motivated. Um, yeah, I mean, having a personal trainer is going to be, uh, there's going to be different reasons for different people mm -hmm. in terms of why they, why they want a personal trainer. I guess, I guess top of the list will be, motivational uh, incentives that that can be offered and, and, and gained from having a personal trainer but I, I guess also being educated while exercising is going to be essential in maximizing the effectiveness of, of your training um, and that in turn is going to going to reduce your risk of injury um, a personal trainer can teach you everything you need to know about exercise routines and and techniques which are actually right for you um, we spoke about it before, actually, Paul. If you, if you was to Google search today how to lose weight, then you're going to get 860 million results. So, you know, very, very conflicted information online. And, and, and yeah. for the layman, a uh, new gym goer particularly, finding the right exercise for you can be, can be very tricky indeed. So a personal trainer can put together the right routine which is going to help you achieve your specific goals, not Dave down the road, but your specific goals. Uh, they'll demonstrate correct posture and exercise to ensure your fitness journey is sustainable. Yeah. And uh, the good thing with the with joining gyms and having fitness instructors around and, and personal trainers is that you have 
the opportunity there to take part in regular fitness testing, which can which can act as a strong motivational tool when you start seeing those results. So I guess that would be relevant to the the general population in terms of why you might want to uh, to uh, sign a PT. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, I've mentioned already like the, the, like the level of detail and the, like the personalization of the program that you put together. Mm. And, uh, and also the, the app and everything and, you know, the various uh, you know, information that you gave me even before I'd, I'd agreed to sign up. Um, <laughs> which, you know, that was pretty impressive. Um, I mean, do you think that, that that's fairly unique? Um, I mean, is that... You know, yeah, I think, I think the technology I nowadays is helping PTs become much more efficient, much more approachable and, and able to communicate yeah. better with their clients. Um, I can't speak for every personal trainer, but certainly the, the guys and girls that I work with, um, most of them now are trying to use technology in terms of having uh, applications, uh, so the mobile app that I can push out to clients is, is a great tool for um, my clients to log nutrition, um, which then notifies me so I can keep a good track of what you're consuming. So yes. giving you and other clients accountability in terms of nutrition. It's a great communication tool as well. Um, but yeah, the app's a new thing, but I think it's becoming more popular now, but it, it, it definitely helps. Uh, yeah I mean you mentioned nutrition there and mm. uh, and again we've we've spoken about this because obviously yeah. you know nutrition is my realm whereas the yes. fitness side is yours um, I mean what what do you feel is the importance of nutrition uh, it's w w when we had this chat Paul, we were we were talking about numbers weren't we and I, um, I recently posted on my Instagram and had a lot of reaction to it and I think we used uh, we used this before so I like to tell clients that it's 90% in the kitchen and 10% in the gym so that means if you're if you are not getting it right 90% of the time at home and, and with what you're eating and, and what's going in your body um, it doesn't matter what you do in the gym you're, you're not going to hit those results so it's definitely much emphasis needs to be placed more so on your diet nutrition than actually taking part in exercise and moving to the gym yeah so you heard it here folks <laughs> <laughs> this is you know obviously this is something that a message that i've been trying to get across really since i've been doing this and uh, right. and like you say it is key isn't it mm, absolutely. Um, yeah. i mean i think we all have seen people that have you know really slogged their guts out in the gym yeah, and then you see them kind of slinking off down to the Mackie D shop. <laughs> right. The biggest one you hear is, uh, yeah, I've done a good hour session. I've, I've earned that pizza. Yeah, I've, I've worked yeah. It. and it's um, it's that lack of understanding, as as you said, the education that you get through having a personal trainer uh, and being part of a supportive gym um, is going to make a massive difference. But you know, in the end. You know, it's it's down to the individual to make sure that they're taking on that advice relating to nutrition and so on. Yeah, that's right. And I'm a I'm a big strong believer in that you need flexibility with your diet and nutrition. And and I'm not one of these people who insist that you count your macro micronutrients yeah. on a daily basis. I, I like to give people flexibility with diet, which is why that advice is key. Uh, yeah. making sure that you're doing that right and being able to stay flexible otherwise it's just not sustainable in most cases yeah. I mean that's the thing isn't it I mean you know you can't have I mean I hate the word diet I don't know about mm. you um, but you've got to have something as you said that's sustainable that kind of fits in with people's lifestyle Absolutely. and you know and and so what if you kind of maybe splurge occasionally at the weekend um, you know, as long as your nutrition over the majority of the time is good, then you're still going to see the results, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah, totally agree with that. Yeah, cool. So, uh, Rich, can you just tell us, kind of go through the process of, you know, if, if someone wants to 
you know, come to you and, and have you as their personal trainer. So what's the whole process that, that people do? What's the first thing? Yes, yeah, so there's, there's different ways in which um, I've managed to um, work with different clients. So I've, I currently uh, have access to the facilities at Pure Gym at Chatham. And um, I have had introduction and, and, and met people that I trained through just being at the Pure Gym there. Uh, but also you can contact me on uh, email, uh, Instagram, all the other socials. Uh, what I like to do first, Paul, is, is really get, get to know someone. Um, so just taking, I guess, yourself as a good example, Paul, when you approached me on, on Instagram, as it was, um, the first thing we did was arrange to meet in person. And I like to do that away from the gym yeah. um, because I can sit down in a nice, calm, quiet environment and, and actually really get to know you. And, yeah. and by doing that, I feel that I will glean better knowledge about your background in terms of training dislikes and likes and what's worked before, what might haven't worked before, et cetera, et cetera. And by getting to know you really well, I feel that I'm going to be able to help you better in the yeah. long run and, and, uh, and recommend some training that's actually going to work and be sustainable. Yeah, and actually vice versa. Yeah, I mean, yeah, quite. I, you know, that I got to know you so well within that mm. time. Absolutely. Um, yeah. You know, and just to let everyone know, I mean, Rich and I sort of sat and chatted for, mm. what? <laughs> it was a good hour and a half. It was. Least, I think. It was, yeah. Just sitting and chatting over a coffee and it was, mm. you know, and, and what was so great about that, it was just completely relaxed. Um and yeah, you, you, you asked the right questions um, about, you know, what I wanted to achieve. Um, like you said, the things that I'd done before um, and, you know, the things that I didn't like doing. Yeah. I think I, yeah. I, think I said burpees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I imagine everyone would give that reply. Yeah, quite. Um, so, um, do you have any kind of online programs at all, or is it just purely um, like person to person? Yeah, ninety percent of my work now is is one to one in person um, at, at the gym in a public space, um, training together. Yeah. I quite like the human contact of the the aspect of personal training. I like being there with someone. That yeah. said. Um, if you're not able to join a gym or you don't want to join a gym, that's fine. Um, we can potentially look at pushing programs to the application, the mobile app that we mentioned earlier. We yeah. can do bits on Zoom. Um, you know, technology's advanced so much so now that, that you could coach someone on the other side of the world if, if need be and if, if it was right for both people. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it's much more flexible now. Um, yeah, I guess hopefully that answers the, the question nicely yeah, for you. Absolutely. Mm. Um, so I'm just checking my notes here uh, just to make sure I've asked all the questions that I wanted to ask you. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I think we're pretty much there. I mean, um, you've, you've said about, you know, how people should get in touch with you, but mm. do you have any... Um, uh, I think you, you mentioned your email is, is one of yes. the good ways. Yes, thank, yeah, thanks for the opportunity. So my email address uh, yeah. for anyone interested in uh, just speaking to a personal trainer, there's no obligation in just getting in touch and asking me questions and I'll, I'll gladly respond yeah. to anyone that does. Uh, so my email address is richardowenpt at gmail.com. Uh, alternatively, you can message on Instagram um, at richardowenpt. Uh, and I have a website also, Paul, which is uh, all the W's. Uh, richardowenpt.com well that, that's, that's all pretty straightforward really isn't it <laughs> <laughs> pretty standard across the board so people yeah. won't forget that no. okay so rich thank you so much no, thank for, you uh, for answering all my questions this morning and uh and i hope that that's kind of enlightened people perhaps about you know what a pt can actually do for you and the benefits of having a pt uh, which are numerous, I think. And uh, I'm personally looking forward to continuing working with you and uh, seeing the results. Good man. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right then, mate. All right, we'll speak soon. Cheers, Paul. See you at the gym. Cheers, mate. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.